This week, we head into the Sierra Nevadas for some fresh mountain air and to admire the giant sequoias. So I finally figured out the trick to washing these front windows. You have to step up onto the front wheel and kind of use that as a little step ladder since we don't carry one. All right, ready to get back on the road? Back on the road. Let's do this. The Sierra Nevadas. I got my healthy snack. Ah, what's up, Doc? Yeah. Number one rule before heading into the mountains, stop and stock up on some food. See, even when you live in a van, you can still shop at Costco. guides and hiking trails and the best part about the national forest is all of their trails are dog friendly unlike the national parks so, so where where are we gonna stay I don't know I think we should go to Kings Canyon National Park and check out the campgrounds there they're first come first serve okay and if those are full we've got other options that's why I like to get a dispersed camping guide at the National Forest Office just so we have backup it is summer it's a pretty popular area Let's go find a camping spot. You excited to be in the forest, buddy? He oh, will be he once is. we get to higher elevation. <laughs> it's a little warm down here. Last time we were here, there was a controlled fire that they had going, and I'm excited to see more of the Sequoia National Forest. Last time we kind of got chased off a little early. There is actually an active fire going on on this side of the road. The Trail of 100 Giants is right here. The park ranger told us it's fine to go up on the trail. They're managing the fire. It's actually a lightning strike that started it. They're letting the fire go and just managing it to help germinate the forest. Looks like we got back just at the right time. You hear about wildfires and the wind starts to kick up when the fire comes through. And you could hear the wind just ripping through there. That was a little scary. It was a bit sketchy. Yep. Welcome to Kings Canyon National Park. <sighs> Gotta get the uh, smog out of my lungs. All set? Come on. I love campgrounds without reservations. If we really love the place, we can keep adding on nights till we hit the limit. If it wasn't closing tomorrow, we'd probably spend a few more nights. This place is incredible. Ah. Didn't 
the fire starter. Doesn't make life easy. Nice fire you've got going there. Thank you. I love fires. Oh, warm, smells great. All we need is for Joe to take out the didgeridoo so we can have some campfire music. <laughs> and I can do my campfire dance. Beautiful morning. Mm -hmm. I think I could live here full time. General Grant is even more impressive in person. Wow, this tree is gigantic. Can you imagine what the view is like from the top? I can hear the mosquitoes, so I think it's time to uh, put the lantern out and hopefully clear the area of any mosquitoes or any other biting insects. Especially because you're allergic, so. Oh, that I, I got... am. Uh oh. Well. I didn't. There's no blood. No, didn't get me, but this hasn't kicked in yet. Those are some big suckers. Well, you just turned it on. Yeah. You gonna put it between our camping chairs? Yeah. Figure this is a good spot. This is when I know Leo is happy. Because he's brown? No, because he's <laughs> passed out. It's the wolf in him. He feels at home in the forest. I love our view. It's pretty incredible. I love this lantern. Within 10 seconds, all the bugs have disappeared. We were getting assaulted by the mosquitoes. Why didn't we get it sooner? Well, I told you. I could have avoided all those bug bites in the Everglades. <laughs> Mosquito lantern is the way to go. We're going to Yosemite! I have a question though. Is it different than what's going on right here? It is. Because I've never been, so I'm not really sure what to expect. It's going to be beautiful. I can't wait to show you Yosemite. Kate got me up because we're going to Yosemite. She's really excited. You left out the best part of the story, which is last night you were able to get a two-night reservation that someone canceled on in a great site at Upper Pines, which no. is impossible to get into this time of year. You're going to need that coffee if you're going to hike Miss Trail all the way to the top. What do you think about driving on this 180 through the mountains? It's actually pretty nice. The van handles really well. I remember when we took the Class A up into the, what were, the Georgia mountains. That was rough. This is actually pretty enjoyable as long as everything in the back is secure. I keep seeing all these trucks come up the other way and I thought of a funny little anecdote. My first word was actually truck, pronounced fruck. And I would be walking down the street with my parents and I'd be like, fruck, fruck. They probably thought you were saying an expletive. Yeah, maybe. My dad used to put me on his shoulders and we lived near a freeway. So he'd walk me to the freeway overpass and point out all the trucks to me. So that was naturally my first word. Next time, we make our way to Yosemite, pick up our first hitchhikers, and get soaked by a waterfall. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
for those of you new to the camper van series, you can click on the playlist right here and watch videos from the beginning. Thank you so much for watching. See you next Wednesday.